the C5's Mighty Wings. They span an incredible 222 feet and eight inches and weigh over 40,000 pounds. This is a Boeing 747. Now look at the wings. They're mounted low on the fuselage and angled upwards. This is typical of any passenger aircraft. Now compare that to a C5 cargo plane. Here, the wings are mounted high on the airframe. That means the fuselage could be designed lower to the ground. This translates to easier loading, which was crucial for the C5. Now look at the pitch of the wings. They're angled downwards, and that design was key to allow the wings to take the huge weight of a loaded cargo plane. The downward pitch of the wings was the stroke of genius that got the C5 off the ground because it allowed them to flex. This aircraft is capable of a tremendous amount of airlift. So when they actually are in flight, the wings lift up to almost level so that we can lift so much weight. Gotcha. So that's deflection, it's not mechanically moving, it's not just Not mechanical at all, up. it is just deflection. Deflection is the natural movement of the wings as they lift upwards during flight. All aircraft do this, but the design of the C-5's wings enables it to flex by an incredible 12 feet. When the plane lands, they droop down again. Implementing this experimental design pushed costs from 40 to $60 million per aircraft. I can see why C-5 engineers chose this design. Rigid wings would have simply snapped under the weight of the plane. Instead, these were designed to bend and flex without cracking. It gives the plane its really distinctive look, which I love. And I gotta say, it was a really clever design. The problem is, it didn't quite work. In 1974, just four years after they rolled out of the factory, huge cracks appeared on some of the C-5's wings. America's $60 million plane was a flying death trap. The fleet's days looked numbered. When Lockheed estimated another half billion dollars to fix the cracked wings, many politicians wanted to scrap the whole C-5 program. In the end, their hand was forced by the USSR. Tonight, I want to explain to you what this defense debate is all about and why I'm convinced that the budget now before the Congress is necessary. President Reagan believed the C-5 was the only answer to the growing Russian threat. As part of a new defense budget, he requested $1.4 billion from Congress to upgrade the C-5 fleet. Reagan got his money, and the C-5 was saved from history's scrap heap. The existing fleet of 76 aircraft would get new wings, and 50 brand new planes were ordered. These upgraded planes were renamed C-5Bs. Almost 20 years after the C-5 was launched, the Air Force had a plane it could trust, 